Welcome to this Windows channel and as we continue our little uh, look at fixes for Wi-Fi problems. First video looked at the router. Uh, the second and third video looked at um, the apps that you can use and how to understand that if you live in a place where there's a lot of Wi-Fi signals that might cause a problem of connection. Third one is your computer. So one of the things that happen sometimes is that the drivers of the network adapter might be obsolete. Maybe you've got a computer that had a update to its driver and you don't know about it and that would be a good idea to look at it. So, um, you know, your computer will connect to Wi-Fi through what's called a network adapter, a Wi-Fi network adapter. One of the problems that happens quite frequently is that sometimes the drivers that are actually um, running your device might have a bug in it that causes disconnects or problems of connectivity. So one of the things that I often say is, first of all, before you, um, you know, do anything else, just go to your control panel. So if you're in Windows 7, you can go to start menu. There's the control panel there. Uh, in Windows 10, you can actually go and um, click the control panel but you can also go because the place where we're going is actually device manager and so um, in windows 10 you can right click on the start menu and you'll see device manager directly here but for all users we'll do it the other way so we'll go to the control panel because it also works um, in windows 10 so windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 you can do this if you don't see icons like i have here Go on the upper right corner and change the view from category to large icons or small icons, depending on what you want. Go into system. Once you're here, you'll go to device manager on the upper left corner. And here you will see your devices on your computer. One of the things you could do. So for example, I'm using this AC adapter that's right here. So look for something that says wireless LAN. This is your Wi-Fi card. Double click on it and in the driver section, look at the date of your driver. So mine is very recent, 31st of January, 2018. So that's the latest driver I've got. But if it's old, you might want to try something and click the update driver button and see if you have an update here. Now on some machines, sometimes the drivers need to be downloaded from a website. So if you have an HP, a Dell, a Toshiba, a Lenovo, uh, any computer that is a brand, known brand computer, Acer, go to the website of your manufacturer and try to find the drivers for your specific machine and download the latest version if it's actually, um, you know, if you see that the date here, for example, so it would say um, <clears throat> 1st of January 2011. So this is really far back, seven years. You might want to go to your manufacturer. If the update driver doesn't do anything, go to your manufacturer's website, find your specific model and search for their wireless drivers. They might have one that is recent or more recent. You know, sometimes uh, having the latest driver means it could be two or three years old. Uh, so, you know, when they find a driver that's pretty good, they usually don't touch it anymore and they will leave it at that version. So, but the idea is to have a driver that is actually uh, more recent than the one you have installed. So if you have a five, six year old, you know, driver, go and check out if they have something that was released since then. That might be one of the first things that actually will fix your Wi-Fi issue. Now, if you've got a huge problem connecting, if you've got tons of problems, another little trick that you can do is simply right click on the driver, the Wi-Fi, the wireless LAN driver, and click the uninstall button. This will remove the driver from the driver list, meaning your Wi-Fi will stop working. Then after you've done that, you can go to actions on the upper uh, left corner. And here you can actually click scan for hardware changes. What it's gonna do, it's gonna start searching. It's gonna see that it's missing a driver it's going to reinstall the driver. Sometimes the driver itself can be corrupt. 
by uninstalling it and forcing a reinstall, sometimes it fixes issues. This is also a good trick if the problem that you're facing with Wi-Fi is I can't connect. It always tells me that it doesn't connect, it can't connect, there's something wrong with the connection and it never wants to do so. Sometimes leftover data from when you connected in the past might actually have problems and because they stay in Windows, Windows remembers them, it might be the cause of the problem. When you actually uh, remove the Wi-Fi driver, you actually remove all the settings that were also with the Wi-Fi driver. That means it kind of reinstalls the driver all fresh and all your settings are all at zero. So you start fresh. Sometimes that also fixes your issue. So these are a few more things that you can check out to make sure that your Wi-Fi works. So hopefully some of the tricks that I'm giving you will help you with Wi-Fi problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.